Nikugite jika ikanyo ya mieri unedai nedhu dhawa mutagadhi wa kameme FM mudhoni wa kiruba na mudhekania chef gathemba the team master kurehesha imu hiyo munu wawuri ya badhi depate ya adama iraha naga. Kuri ikana na area ya area marari ya na mitheko meigi marauga ori ya adoma marade kire dhuda wa billboard kwe kiro dhika road ni gugu kugu ira badhi dea madam boss. Kuri ikana na comment ire rehe te sha imu igini ni kweri kana ati ni dama we kiri ire billboard na kamudhako kwa kifagwa urea eku hana surprise na kurea aini na arata magu manite farafara inene ne hakuwe na billboard yeno noda madami onaga ona dhuda wagu wekinya harea aini ya mare mithe kona shiuria shia kunye nyia kuma kurea tagadhia ya hedi asho ya shaja muka niwe tu mite dama resu adama mobiles adike urreda iniru wakeru wa facebook We ugo kira roshi ne, uga di redu ine kwa rileli ya motumia muradhi me. Hau bita ariu, murage te jatashi ya aini, jatashi ya memere kia reage, jatashi ya tati, re umureda kuraga jatashi ya huri ya fiyashara. Tiga ayo yuru todo kiri ya gaya radhi me te gotire modo oge keruma. Reke di muirema, todo ashio age makura guona guwaya wako muirema, nie dire guwaya todo igoro gotika igira iguwaya. Tiga ayo kura ga jatashi ya adu areage, atenisha ayo murahe ya na hau, uge kwa na mudu wa kuwea ire kahiyo udhu kira idhanu wa todude kuwea ga kahiyo ago tigie e kuwea ga hako ni ineo dhire mamake boa asgoto weruwa wabe okarie na ke asuta kick house ati wabe oko gidhie ni mutara ni jorua mudu gudhu ire nota murogi ujigua gira uirune kina nye dire mutagadhi radio should be used to educate inform and entertain the audience not to attack other people's reputation and businesses na ke mamake boa as ori ya kura Atu ikaniwe weke rire biri bodi eno Ire tajira ya gushokia guwoko ni ure da mako retu wa mwenye itire ire One kete kurakali yone mieri yeno na mitheko Na kugau wage komente la adama Kai, hii wivu yote imetoka wapi I'm shocked The crazy thing about people who don't like you They watch everything you do Na kia sunta wake kahuzi ya kade kuhu The only way to do great work is to love what you do From the CEO's desk Good morning No hadu ini hake mudoni wake riuba baby top Hadi kiti urureda ini ruwake ruwa Facebook Thudha wa adama mobile squadika Ati oragi ya mishi ya nenashi ya nashi roga mara uga ate ya Asking for tea master I'm also on believe Thank Reu wakwe terera ni kuonaka na mudho ni wake ruba na tea master wake Ni maku hoyo rekeri ni miari yona mitheko yao Kure igogo na riri ria birthday adama Amazing, amazing. I want to introduce the next because my Yeah, yeah, and I see where 
Usishuhudie uongo usidanganye waheshimu baba yako na mama yako akawaambia Mwalimu haya yote nimeyashika tangu utoto wangu Yesu akamkazia macho akampenda akamwambia Umepungukiwa na neno moja nenda ukauze Ulivyo navyo vyote uwape maskini nawe utakuwa na hazini mbinguni kisha njo unifuate walakini yeye akakunjika uso kwa neno hilo akaenda zake kwa uzuni kwa sababu alikuwa na mali nyingi Yesu akatazama kote kote akawaambia wanafunzi wake jinsi itakavyokuwa shida mwenye mali 
kuingia katika wafalme wa Mungu. Wanafunzi wakashangaa kwa maneno yake. Yesu akajibu tena akawaambia Watoto jinsi ilivyo shida wenye kutegemea mahali kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu. Ni rahisi ngamia kupenya katika tundi tundu ya sindano kuliko tajiri kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu. Nao wakashangaa mno wakamwambia ni nani basi awezae kuokoka? Yesu akawakazia macho akasema kwa wanadamu haiwezekani. Bali kwa Mungu sivyo maana yote yawezekana kwa Mungu. Petro akaanza kuambia tazama sisi tumeacha vyote tukakufuata wewe. Yesu akasema amen na waambieni hakuna mtu aliyeacha nyumba au ndugu wa ume au ndugu wake au mama au baba au watoto au mashamba kwa ajili yangu na kwa ajili ya injili ila atapewa mara mia sasa wakati huu nyumba na ndugu waume na ndugu wake na mama na watoto na mashamba pamoja na hudia na katika ulimwengu ujayo uzima wa milele injili ya bwana Tumsifu Yesu Kristu Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Naomba uangalie jirani yako usiseme chochote muangalie tu Hata usipike smao muangalie tu Please please follow instructions wengine mnaongea muangalie tu muangalie Sawa alafu tena niangalie yes Asante. Naamini kwamba wote tumejifunza ama tulisoma kwamba tumeumbwa kwa sura na mfano wa Mungu. Sisi wote tumeumbwa kwa sura na mfano wa Mungu. We were created in the image and likeness of God. Kwa lugha yenu eh kwa lugha yenu eh kikuyu Tunasema muhai nere wangai si ndio hiyo <laughs> eh, babani insaidie muhai nere wangai ni hivyo mu eh, okay sawa 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 but at least mnajua tena ninataka kusema ukienda kwa lugha ya kilatin kilatin kwa kilatin tunasema christopher image and likeness sura na mfano wa Kilatin tunasema wanasema Christopher Christopher inamaanisha mbeba Kristu Christ bearer Ukisema Christopher unasema Christ bearer Yule mtu ambaye anabeba Kristu Sasa nataka waangalie jirani yako umwambie habari za asubuhi Christopher Yaani mweke smao, weke smao, put your smao. Hiyo concept ya Christopher inamaanisha ukiangalia hiyo jirani yako, unaona mtu ambaye ameumbwa kwa sura na mfano wa Kristo. Unaona Kristo kaangalia ukiangalia hiyo huyo jirani yako. If you look at your neighbor, you see Christ. Unajua hapa kanisani ya Katoliki tuko na tebenako Tebenako ni mahali ile tunaweka eh, hostia consecrated tunaweka Yesu hapo Nini mili yetu kama binadamu iko kama tebenako Ni maana Paulo St Paul alisema mili yetu 
ni he, ni hekalu hekalu ya ya Mungu our bodies are temples of the holy spirit are temples of god now kwamba tatizo ni hili hii concept ya Christopher salingi tunasahau sisi kama binadamu tunasahau kusema huyo jirani yako ni Christopher tena muangalie jirani yako muangalie mwambie Christopher nakupenda tunasema hivyo tukiingia kanisani wote tuna eh, kubao kubao kwa kisu, kwa Kiswahili ni nini tunafanya nini tuna inama eh tuingia kanisani kwa sababu tunajua hii mahali Yesu yuko yupo tuna you, the same way it should be done when you see your neighbor ukiona jirani yako huyo jirani yako amebeba Kristu kila saa kila muda ndio maana ukimuona hata ukiona mtoto unampea heshima kwa sababu huyo mtu ameumbwa kwa sura na mfano wa kri, wa Kristu huyo ni Kristo eh, saidiane huyo ni kri, huyo ni Christopher and so tatizo ni hili kwamba sisi tunasahau hiyo concept of Christopher ndio maana ukiona mahali mengi mahali mengi people are killing each other watu wanauana Someone mtu akifika tu hapa kanisani anaweka bomu. Hii bomu it will kill everyone here. Kwa sababu we as people tumesahau hii concept of your neighbor jirani yako kuwa eh tsaijani kuwa Christopher. Ni maana sisi wengi tunaombizana katika familia zetu katika hapa kanisani kwa sababu tumesahau. Ukienda familia zingine huko kufika People are not talking. Brother na sister aongee. Ni maana wanaambia na watoto usiongee na hiyo familia. Kwa sababu sisi tumesahau concept of Christopher. Ukiona jirani yako, ukiona mtoto, huyu mtoto is made in the image and likeness of God. Huyu ni Christopher, you are not going to hate your neighbor. Wengine tunaongea vibaya kwa rafiki zetu wenzetu kwa sababu you only see the bit the, 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 the your, your neighbor unaona tu huyo neighbor ni neighbor tu auone kwamba huyu neighbor huyu jirani yangu before he is even a person he is made in the image and likeness of God ameumbwa kwa sura na mfano wa wa Mungu sasa kutokea leo hata ukienda nyumbani uangalie mume wako ama mke wako Mpe heshima, mwambie Christopher nakupe, nakupenda. Ukifanya hivyo, hizi shida zetu zile tunapatikana nazo za familia, they will not be there. Today we have got issues in families. Tuko na shida hapo kwenye familia zetu kwa sababu mume ama mke amesahau kwamba before this one was my husband, he is a what? A Christopher. Huyu ni ni Christopher ameumbwa kwa sura na mfano wa mwenye wa Mwenyezi Mungu wa Mungu kwa kwa, kwa lugha yenu tunasema muhai nere eh wa wangai ni hivyo hmm? wangai eh hey. sawa 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 mtaanza me hii I'm, I'm, I'm still learning mkiona hii jumapili iliyopita swali ilikuwa Nitafanya nini niingie falme wa Mungu? That was the question. Na jumapili hii, hii swali bado ipo inaendelea. Mtu amekuja kwa Yesu, anamkimbilia na kumuuliza, "Nifanye nini ikiwa nataka kuingia ufalme wa wa Mungu?" Jumapili iliyopita, Yesu alituambia, "Ama unafanya kuingia ufalme wa Mungu, wewe na mimi tuwe kama mto mtoto today jesus tells this man enda uuze kila kitu kenye uko na uko nacho upatie pesa kuma hao watu wa wa maskini alafu ni unifuate you are going to get your, your reward in heaven kwani tujiulize kwa nini yesu alikuwa al, alitaka sisi tuwe kama watoto nataka ni nitoe mfano nataka nitumie mtoto mmoja Hello. Come, come, come. 
Nataka tuwe mfano eh? Mm, okay, tatumie. Mm. Baba, mama, come, come, come. Good. Mpigeni makofi, mpigeni makofi mtoto. Eh? Tansaidia, eh? simama hapo, simama hapo. Mkiona mtoto kama huyu, Yesu alisema, ikiwa unataka kuingia mfalme wa Mungu, uwe kama mto, mtoto. Ni maana nilikuwa nachiuliza kwa nini Yesu anataka sisi tuwe kama Kwa nini? And what came to my mind is the qualities of a child. Sifa za sifa za mtoto. Mtoto kwamba a child has got qualities that you and I as elderly people need to learn from. Mtoto kama huyu anapenda kwa moyo safi. A child loves from a pure heart. Hakuna mtoto wenye utapata huko who has got a bad heart. Never. Ama you have found one. Who can, who can raise up your hand to say, ulipata mtoto who has got a very bad heart who does not love from a heart. Mtoto yoyote hapa ukiangalia anapenda watu kwa moyo kwa moyo safi. And we as elderly people sometimes we tend to keep many things in our lives, in our hearts. Dio maana ukiangalia leo hii watu wengi wanatumia dawa za bibi, dawa za um, what do you call them? Ulcers. Kwa sababu we are keeping things in our hearts and we don't love purely. Mtoto kama huyu anapenda kwa moyo safi from a very pure heart. If you need pure love, ama unataka eh, upendo Upendo, uh, how do you say it? How do you say pure love? You understand pure love? If you want pure love, unangalia mto, mtoto. Tena, mtoto, akona usame. Ukikosea huyu mtoto, utapita hivi, na kuingia huko, mtoto ataku, atakimilia. Kwa sababu, they don't remember. They don't keep records of wrong. Aha ni watoto. Today, wengine hapa tunasema wazungu they are very easy people wazungu eh wazungu are very weak Tuna, we, we say that wazungu are very weak kwa sababu wanapenda kuli kulia kuangalia kila movie mzungu ah mami wewe ni mzungu eh boyfriend akikwacha ah baby 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 eh even a man kuangalia mzungu ah no 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 i'm hurt utaona hapa jamaa hmm? If you if your boyfriend dumps you ama your girlfriend ah atana naye eh tunaendelea Unasema tunaendelea lakini unaweka hiyo kitu kwa roho kwa roho Ama mtu akikosea hapa wengine nitasema no no let us forget let us forget Wengine we just say it but we keep things in our in our hearts and a child is not like that Mtoto kama huyu ama even the children we have here are not like that Children let go. There are people who let go. They don't keep iniquities. They don't keep things, bad things in their minds. Tena tumeambiwa watoto kama huyu ajui kabila, ajui hata race. Race ni kama African, eh, European. Mtoto ajui. Actually, this child doesn't even know that I come from Zambia. Mimi natoka Zambia. Nikifika hapa watoto hao wananipe wananipenda lakini nikaangalia watu watu wengine atasema eh hey, hey, which tribe today ama unataka unataka kuingia kazi watu wengine wanaangalia ji, jina your surname ama unatoka western unatoka central unatoka eastern juu ni western ni wapi but a child is not choosing Mtoto ana uchagu, uchaguzi. Anapenda kila mu, kila mtu kwa sababu ako na clean heart, a pure heart. You and I ikiwa tunataka kuingia ufalme wa Mungu, tutoe ufano kwa kwa mtoto. Kwa sababu tukienda huko nyumbani kwetu tunasema children you should be like us. Watoto unataka watoto wa, wawe kama si sisi. But today I'm telling you, I'm reminding you Watch your children. Muangalie watoto wenu, muone. 
These people are very pure. Please, begin my coffee. May you be. Ya mwisho. Huyu mtu mwenye alikimbilia Yesu, alimuuliza, "Nifanye nini ningie ufalme wa Mungu?" Huyu mtu alikuwa tajiri. Shida sio kwamba ni kuwa tajiri. To be rich is not a problem, no. To have money, wote hapa tunatakiwa tufanye kazi kwa nguvu ili tupate pe, pesa ama tupate ka katoko because everything needs money. Hata injili hii ifike mahali ingine we need money for the gospel to go far. Shida si ilikuwa ni tajiri ama alikuwa mtu wa pe, wa pesa. Tatizo la mtu huyu ni kwamba alibadilisha tumaini lake kwa Mungu na kuweka tumaini la utajiri wa dunia. He put his trust in the world. You and I. Kama hii falo nilikuwa naweka hapa ya mtoto, mtoto ako na uaminifu. Ako na uaminifu kwa wazazi wake. A child trusts the parents. A child trusts that what mom is doing, what dad is doing is good for me. Hii kitu ambayo baba anafanya, leo baba ananipiga. Alinipiga jana and today I don't have to repeat to repeat the same. A child trusts in the parents. Ndio maana tatizo la huyu mtu ilikuwa ilikuwa kwamba aliweka his trust in the wealth, in the money, believing this money is going to save me. But today you and I we learn kwamba tuweke uaminifu kwa mu, kwa Mungu kama mto kama mtoto. Uh, mtakatifu Engema katika uh, shirika yetu alisema Mungu hufanya kila kitu kwa hekima ya ajabu. Tu ni ambayo hatujui kitu kitu gani kinafaa. God does everything with wonderful wisdom. We don't know what everything is good for. God does everything with wonderful wisdom we don't know what everything is good for at that time sasa wewe na mimi who are here in today's gospel tujue kwamba whatever that you are going through in your life ask god what is it good for every of every, every one of us here tunapitia changamoto katika maisha yetu lakini this changamoto some of them are to bring you close to god wengine hapa ikiwa sio shida yenye unapitia you would have slept today if not the problem that you are going through you would have slept today sasa leo tukumbuke kwamba yesu anataka tuingie ufalme wa mungu lakini sisi we have to detach we have to leave a lot of things for us to enter kuingia ufalme ufalme wa mungu sasa tuombe katika misa hii ya leo mungu atupe at, at neema the grace to live like children who trust in God watoto wenye yako na uaminifu kwa Mungu anasamea warafiki wa, 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 zao ila and then anapenda watu wote tumsifu Yesu Kristo basi tusimame na tukili imani yetu na sadiki kwa Mungu mmoja
e, Mwenyezi Mungu tunakushukuru kwa asubuhi ya leo tunakuomba uweze kutusaidia tuweze kujua kwamba yote ambayo tuko nayo yametoka kwako ya inastahili kutusaidia ili kufikia ufalme wako e bwana tuakuomba Prayer for the sick mighty and everlasting father we come before you this morning we thank you for the gift of life for the gift of each and every one of us here we come before you we thank you for our family for our friends we dedicate all the sick and to able hands all those who are in the hospitals and others at home we pray that you may stretch your healing hand upon them may they receive your healing that come from you oh god we pray that you may be able to help them and settle their hospital bills and help them and their families we ask this through Christ our lord lord hear us ke to hore mushie papa ido amadani jesu christo etwa ka bere ya kurushi ni roroeka to go shokeria ka zo ni todo wa ugo riketie go korore hamwe na ithe fava ni turarete ikero itiganete na wasoka wara igalika koroshi to watwara hura na wasoka watu kinya thini wa nyope no ya kuzeru maidema turarehe mishi itu bere ya kumwadhani ni utohete mishi watu heathuri no watu heshiana wako haya dayo thini wa mishi itu fava utora thimire mishi itu twende ciana citu ona matwende tondu ni vietu matungataga na nigetha weka uguo ngai witu gumono gocine ciaku twahoya dayo mishi twetweke mishi nitheru ta mushi wa nasarezi wa yesu maria na yosef mwadhani utu igwe Kaito wa ni todo wa kanida fafa dini wa rito re Jesu so kabre ni ya kumwadhani ni todo wa wega na utigu wa kumudhamaki twasokia gado ni todo ni tuhete hado so giuka tu gusokerie gado na tuhote kugutugata kuringana na ore abe ukwenda ni turaho ya ni ndo wa maritana dini wa kanida wa kumwadhani tukaho ya ni todo wa mafada ma sister na ma brother si na ndo othe ara ida itu wa matine odhurete marutage wira wa kugai twako hoyo korago hamwe nao umaso goragie na umekage maudu mega umagita gire kwe maudu mothe mara mage mu madhuda mothani ni twasoka na ko hoya ni todo wa fururi mothani kai witu twagweta ni tonyo ya na gathayo ngai Otoririkana mahida maku eno rito thini ba fururi ngai otike ba gutuhethayo uhia togori athayo ngai witu no hote kuruga mano nigetha marute wira uri abagireire uri wa madhurire nigetha matogori andu wa kumuthamaki twaho ida itu wa matine ona ndu wa president witu ona kyo murathi meno muhe hinya na andu ari othe mamumete thutha twaho gutu kiuga mwathani utu igwe Naomba yote kwa njia ya Kristo aliye mwokozi wetu. 